A verbal will, or in Hebrew, actually Aramaic, tzavach chiv mira. Basically, a will that's uh, uh, given by someone that is uh, going to pass away. Shchiv uh, mira in Aramaic basically means someone that's lying uh, sick on his bed, meaning someone that is about to leave this life. And uh, this is basically the purpose of this very unique will. Most uh, of the times uh, in the um, inheritance law, the will will need to be written naturally, either in handwriting by the uh, uh, person giving the will or um, can also be printed and then um, read to the person giving the will and then he basically signs the printed copy and you have um, uh, witnesses. Um, so it's a very rare situation where the um, uh, testator basically doesn't need to sign a will or write a will. Uh, but it's a very unique situation, and these situations occur quite a bit, actually, if you think about it. Because even now, all the viewers of this video, uh, if you ask yourself if you have a will or not, I'm sure many of you don't have a will. And unfortunately, like it or not, we might find ourselves in a situation where we're confronting death, basically. Uh, either after an accident, after a natural disaster, Unfortunately, maybe he will be caught in like a terror situation, I don't know, um, or in a war zone. All of a sudden, you discover that your, might, your life might end. You have an estate and you never gave orders who you want to give your estate to. So in situ for situations like this, basically, uh, there is uh, this will, which is a verbal will. In order for this will to be approved, um, according to section 23 of the inheritance law, uh, basically you need to have two witnesses that hear the testator and what he wants um, to do with his estate. After the witnesses hear the testator, they need to basically write down as fast as possible uh, what they heard um, in a memorandum basically, and then they need to sign this memorandum. Um, and this should be done very uh, soon after they heard the testator's wishes. Now, this is a very important rule. Um, in order for this will to have an effect, the testator must pass away within 30 days from the day that he uh, verbalized his intentions and his, uh, basically, last will and testimony. So if after 30 days the testator is still alive, this will, the verbal will, is basically uh, canceled. Um, it's uh, very important to understand also that the inheritance law deals uh, also with technical matters and, and but mainly wants to essentially make sure that the will and the desire of the testator is fulfilled. So if there are any problems, um, technical problems uh, with a will according to section 25 of the inheritance law, a judge can basically still give this will an effect and fulfill it. Um, our advice always in all situations, uh, especially today when you have smartphones, is if you are a witness in a situation like this to take a video because a video is basically very strong natural evidence um, where you can actually hear the, um, the testator and his voice and see his face and his expressions and uh, when the verbal will or any kind of will will need to then be implemented, when you have a video, of course, it can be very helpful. Anyway, uh, if you have any further questions on the matter, you can feel free to contact us and we're happy to be of assistance.